what my film collective uh, combines, let's say, all of Europe, is the one thing that seems to be more similar everywhere in Europe, which is the way power works uh, and the way politics and power um, need journalism to counterbalance it. Because uh, we see in more and more countries more corruption now. We see more and more even rightfully elected uh, people in power positions that misuse their power, step onto people's lives, uh, are very corrupt, as we could see now during the pandemic in so many countries. Uh, and I think Collective shows this um, need for journalism in order to provide the European citizens with the truth, because power tends to produce all the time a parallel reality in order to hide their real intentions. Uh, and the lack of trust citizens start to have in power is because we have more and more the feeling uh, that there's a big gap between us and those in power, and that uh, many times those in power do not serve uh, the citizens, but other interests. I think a vote that combines, let's say, 50% from, from uh, parliament members and 50% comes from, from European citizens, it, it is essential because it combines basically the will of the two. But it would be interesting maybe also to see what citizens voted for and what the parliament is voting for. All our films, all the three films, are strong films that had already very strong distribution uh, but the Lux Award is, let's say, a PR campaign that comes on top and is highlighting the films as really centerpieces of European cinema.